Okay, y'all. So as you can see, the theme of this video is on, of course, astrology, because why not? I'm talking about it all the time now, because this is what I'm supposed to be doing in life right now, based on me, because I said so. Y'all, I do not believe, first of all, that we are only here for one reason and one reason only. We have multiple purposes in this lifetime. You don't have a one true purpose. So you're going to go through different stages in your life doing different things. But I do feel that it is under the umbrella of one thing, if that makes sense. So I feel like I'm a teacher. I'm here to teach. I'm here to give knowledge. But I can do that through different avenues in life, you know. So now, right now, my focus is teaching through astrology and teaching people who don't understand like at all, like the basics. Like I'm someone who I know that I can break things down easily. One, because I have the experience of teaching little kids. I have the experience of teaching our special ed students. So I can break things down into simpler forms to help you understand complex ideas, if that makes sense. So your birth chart, and why I always talk about this, this is the roadmap to your life. This is your energy. This is the overall feeling of who you are and why I feel like it is so important because of these last, I say this last year, and really these last few months, like really, really hard of me really studying this stuff. If I would have learned this before, I could, y'all, I could have saved so much time with people. I could have saved so much time just in general with a lot of things, but I do not regret anything that has ever happened in my life. So I feel like every experience we have to experience for a reason, it helps with character development or whatever. But again, your birth chart, your natal chart, you know, you'll hear both. Um, this helps you understand yourself and who you are and maybe why you act the way that you do or why certain things are happening to you or you know just just the answers of self so i want people to understand it because i also want you to understand that you are not just that one sign that you're born under like you're not like oh i was born in december so i'm a sagittarius or i'm a capricorn and that's it and so a lot of times people do believe that and so whenever someone is giving characteristics of a person and you know that they possibly, let's say they share your same sign, you're like, well, I'm not like that, but they are. It's like, well, because there's different aspects, let's say with love or with communication or the way that you think um, or the way you receive information is might be the way a different sign operates, if that makes sense. So um, I don't want to get too deep into like technicalities, but I do want people to understand again, this is like the roadmap to your life and who you are and understanding yourself and the people around you. So it's good to know this stuff. Let's say if you're someone who really wants love, you really want marriage, you really want to be in healthy relationships with people, you want to go into business with somebody, your birth chart can help you determine what type of person you'd be and what work environment and what type of person that what person would be. Let's say you want to hire someone and you want to know if they're good with money. You want to know if they're on time. You want to know if like they're the type of person who's loyal or who will stand up for something. All of those things your birth chart tells you. And I find it funny that like people don't believe. And I, at the time, like when I first started learning about this stuff, it wasn't so much that I didn't believe, but it was more of like, I did not want to look into it because of the way I grew up religious and they say it's bad and you know but now I understand why they said it's bad because they don't want you to know about yourself and if you understand yourself it helps you eliminate a lot of problems right like if you knew that your love sign is a sign that you'll possibly have to go through a series of people because it's just not stable you will understand it more and not blame yourself like you'll know that it's going to happen and you can't control your life you can't control anything the only thing you can control is how you react to it so if you understand okay this is coming to an end or this is something that's turmoil or whatever understand that overall it's not you and it's just the energy of your life and what's just supposed to happen um, and I hate to say it like that to people because even myself, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear, well, that's just your life. That's what's supposed to happen. I don't want to hear that. But I understand it. 
that makes sense. Like I'm still going to be frustrated. I still might be sad or I still might be happy or whatever emotion I had behind it. But I just understand that that is just my overall energy of my life in this lifetime. So, y'all, again, I've been doing these. I love doing them. I like talking with people one-on-one and just helping them understand that they might not be crazy. They might not be doing too much. They might not be whatever. But when you understand yourself, like let's say a Virgo. So if you're a Virgo, shout out to you. Virgos are very observant, but they can be observant to the point of where they're like too critical because they're watching people and they're reading them and they're looking at them up and down and they're waiting for that moment where they can interject their comment of observation, whatever it is they notice. It could be something stuck in your teeth. It can be your zippers down. It could be something, it could be anything and they will call it out and they don't have a problem calling it out. So when you understand that that part of you, if you're like that, um, you know, a grammar Nazi, like you're just waiting to like correct something. If you're understanding that that's your overall energy, you can learn that about yourself and then also learn how to like, you know, um, work on it. You understand that that's you and you can't just be like, well, that's just how I am. Like you can understand that that's your energy, but you can also help like balance that energy if that makes sense, y'all. So I like talking to strangers, especially because I will tell them about themselves. I have no idea who they are. I don't, I've never met them. And just looking at their chart and understanding where certain planets are and what, it, yeah, it's so, so crazy. And it's so fun to have people be like, oh my gosh, how did you know that? I'm like that. I'm like this, whatever. Oh, what did I just do? My hair is like super greasy. So I was like, I need to make this video, but also at the same time, let me just put something on here to distract y'all. But anyways, like, just like this, I'm not talking into this. I'm talking into the other microphone, but this is just for props. I want to see, I want to see if this will help the video any. Um, oh my gosh, my closet's been open this whole time. Anyways, y'all, as a Scorpio rising, I love the color black and I wear white a lot because I just like neutral colors too. I don't like to do too much like white, gray, black very solid, no zhuzh on it. Um, but yeah, my closet right here, just a bunch of black clothes. So understand if you're a Scorpio, Scorpio rising, you like to wear a lot of black and you like to stay covered up. Like I used to wear like turtlenecks, like it could be summertime, I'm like turtlenecks, long sleeves. Now I understand why, because of astrology, I understand why I would wear certain things because Scorpio is a dark planet. It's a secretive planet. You know, you don't like to reveal yourself too much. You're very deep with your emotions. You hide a lot of things. Like now I understand why, because I have those placements and my friends would always be like, why are you always wearing your jacket all the time? Why are you? I was like, I don't know. I just feel more, more comfortable in this. And when you understand, again, your signs, you understand why you dress the way that you do. You understand why you talk, not talk the way that you do, but well, talk as in like, if you're very aggressive with your speech or if you're more like subtle or whatever, like you just understand why you do all the things that you do. And you're, it's not like you're, controlling it or you're like well I'm a Scorpio so I'm gonna wear, go wear black it's like you know you're like you gravitate towards those things because of your overall energy of your birth chart so I just want to say this real quick y'all I understand that some people they're not gonna get it they're not gonna understand it. they're not gonna believe it's okay like I don't whatever it's just people you know who want to believe who want to listen who want to understand who want to just see what it's all about um I think that it's very important and it has helped me tremendously and especially thinking about my past and thinking about like, oh, this didn't work out because I'm like this or it's like, no, it's just, that's just you and that's just them. And that's just how it is. Like you have to just find people who uh, can match your energy. And I, I know people hear that a lot, but it's literally an energy. Like you have to find people who like, it just works like peanut butter and jelly, you know? So anyways, y'all just wanted to get on here and do this quick little video. Um, if you are someone who wants your birth chart interpreted, your natal chart, whatever you want to call it, hit me up. I do do them. Um, you can comment underneath this video. You can message me on Instagram, Julissa underscore Danielle. On Twitter, Julissa Danielle underscore. I'll have it all at the end of this video just to remind y'all. But yeah, I'd love to do it. This is really fun. And if you want to do it for somebody else who you want to understand, let me know too. 
But yeah, I thank you all so much for watching and please share and do all that. I know I'm not like as consistent pumping it out, but it's because I've been doing these readings with people and it's taking up a lot of my time, but I love it though. Like I'm not complaining about it. I love doing it. Um, but that's why I don't have like constant content all the time because this is taking up, you know, a couple hours of my day because I'm doing several people throughout the day. So y'all let me know if you want to do it. It's, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. And you're going to be like, mind blown. So anyways, y'all, thank you so much. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for understanding my weirdness. I'm starting to embrace my weird a little bit more because who cares? Like I don't have a, uh, um, a persona that I need to keep up because why? So anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all later. Uh...